Hello everyone, this is a video number six of the Lending Gear series and today we're doing the final assembly of this uh, Lending Gear as shown here. You can refer to my previous videos to see how all these components were created. So let's begin with the assembly. So let's create new assembly. I'm going to put this window to the side and uh, before we select the components, let's change the units to millimeters. So in the assembly tab, let's click on insert components and from here we can select the strut, which is this part right here. Uh, without clicking on the graphic, graphic areas, let's select the OK button here. By doing this, uh, this component is fixed. You can also tell by the F letter in front of it. So if even if you want to uh, hold it and drag it, you are not allowed to do that because it's fixed. The next component that we are bringing is the, uh, the wheel hub. So let's go back to insert components and Let's select the, the wheel hub. You can place it there. Let's bring the um, let's bring the, the the piston as well, and we can put it here. Okay, so we're going to create some mates and relationship to all these components. So the first one is I want this cylinder to be uh, concentric with the with the strut. So I'm going to select both with the control key and select concentric. Um, if you notice now, my my cylinder can go up and down. So I'm just going to place it like halfway for now. Uh, next, I want this cylinder to be um, concentric with the wheel hub. So I'll, I'll follow the same steps. So first I can select the, these two components and make it concentric. If you notice, um, I can still move this up and down. So next, I'm going to make this face and the bar and and the bottom of uh, on the top of this face here. I'm going to make those two coincident. So every time I move the wheel hub, the um, cylinder moves as well. So now, if you notice. The, the wheel hub can rotate, right? And I want this to be um, fixed as shown here. And for that, we can use the, the, the planes to create a, uh, a relationship. So let's go to the wheel hub plane. In this case, in this case we can select the front plane and let's go to the strut and let's select the front plane as well and let's make these two coincident so you can see the wheel hub rotated so now even if i want to rotate it's not gonna let me do it so it can only go up and down next let me bring the the shaft so let's go to insert component and let's double click on the shaft i'm gonna place it right there with my uh with the right click i can hold it and rotate it and i can place it uh to the position that that i would like so once i do that i can create a mate between the shaft and the uh, between this pin and and they will have so with the control key select both and make it concentric okay so now if you notice the the shaft can uh, 
can go in in the z direction but i would like this this shaft to be uh, at the center in a fixed condition so for that we'll do we'll follow a similar process as the other ones so let's go to the shaft and we're going to take the right plane because it's at the middle and let's go to the we can go to the piston or we can go to the let's go to the um the wheel hub and let's take the front plane of the wheel hub you can also select any other plane as long as it is at the center so once you do that let's make it concentric and now the the shaft is at the center next we will um bring the upper and lower links let's begin with the upper link so insert components and upper link we can place it right there and the um we can um rotate this a little bit the way uh, we want it to be and once we do that we can let's select the the edge of that circle with the edge of this one here and we're going to create a, a uh, concentric mate so now the um, these two components are attached to each other next we will bring the um, the lower link insert components select now the uh, lower link and we follow the same same steps we can um, hold it and rotate it a little bit so we can place it approximately how we want so let's select the edge of that face and uh, that face will be concentric with this face here right? with this edge so with the control key select that and make those two coincident as well and hit okay next we need to um, attach these two links together for that um, we'll follow the same same steps select select this edge and the edge of the lower link and make this make those two uh, coincident okay now my um all the components have uh, have been uh, made and now we can add the um some bolts and nuts to the to the links so we will be adding a bolt and nut to this to these components at, at this location this location and finally at this location here so for that we can go to the uh, let's go to the design library and um, let's go to um, ANSI metric and let's select the bolts and screws once we're there we can select the hex head and this time we can um, you can choose um, the one that you prefer but let me check let me select this heavy hex flange i can just hold it and drag it i can drag it so once we're here we uh we're going to select the m14 uh, bolt and let's hit okay so if you notice um this this arrow here this is to uh, increase the the length of the overall um, 
bolt. So let's bring um let's bring another one. And same size, M14, and so we're going to need three bolts. Okay, so now let's apply some uh, some mates. So the first one is going to be uh, let's take this one here. Let's try to rotate a little bit. So with the control key, select the shank of the bolt and the interface of this circle here and make it concentric. So that will bring the bolt to that location. But if you notice, you can still have a tran translation uh, freedom. So we can select this face to that face and make it, con make it um, coincident and it'll fix it. So we kind of uh, following the same the same steps for the other two. So first of all, I'm going to increase the length for this one here. So now selecting the shank with the this inner face, I'm going to make this concentric. Once I'm here, I can take this face and make it coincident with this face. Finally, let's work on this last bolt. I'm going to increase it a little bit. And um, selecting the shank and the inner face of that circle, let's create a concentric relationship. And um, finally, we can make these two faces coincident to each other. Okay, so we have we have applied the bolt. Now let's bring the the nut. So going back to the design library, um, instead of bolts and screws let's go to the knot section and hex knot this time i'm going to select the hex flange so hold it and drag it and if you notice uh, this is going to snap into uh into place so m14 that's okay select okay So let's go to the next one. Um, it'll snap once you get close to the nut and the face of the component. Similarly, this one here. And let's hit the escape key. So that's how you apply the, the nut. So now we can reduce the the bolt length so let's with the arrow let's decrease it so probably we can keep it at 100 for this one here for this one here we do the same thing and let's see how big can this be this one can be uh 70 and for this one let's drag it to probably 80 that looks fine to me and um, so this is how you will create this landing gear assembly uh, we use um, a lot of mate to uh, to create relationship between the components and we also apply a few bolts and nuts for those links and uh, and this concludes this and I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching.